What's up guys, welcome back to Awesome Eats. Today I'm gonna to show you a super cool technique if you don't have a smoker or any fancy ovens to smoke things in, pulled pork. Pulled pork is something really delicious, really tender and juicy, and a lot of smoke houses make it really nice, but who has a smoker at home? So we're gonna do it in a slow cooker, low and slow for a couple of hours. It's gonna be really tender and delicious. Over here we have a pork shoulder. These things are really big, but they're really cheap. This entire thing was 10 euros. Let's have a look. There we go. So this is a nice, delicious pork shoulder. There's a big blade bone inside of here, and the butcher actually cut it in two pieces. You can see all the bone marrow in here. We're gonna leave all this on with the skin as well, straight into the slow cooker. Put it in there nice and snug. Now you would think the slow cooker does not have enough time and power to cook this big pork shoulder, but after six hours, anything will become pretty much tender. So six hours, we're gonna leave it in the slow cooker. We're gonna give it a little liquid, otherwise the liquid from the pork, the natural liquid will, will evaporate. I've got some orange juice. You could use any liquid you want. I like the sweetness. And we're gonna keep it very simple with just some garlic powder. Freshly ground garlic powder, that's a thing. Put the lid on. Here we have two settings. We have low and we have high. If you're really in a pinch, you can put it on high, cook it for six hours, or you can put it on low for eight. It will be much more tender. Let's put it on high because we're gonna eat in six hours. Right, Daniel? Six hours? Six hours. Okay, so it's been approximately three to four hours. It's not done yet, but we can have a little look inside. As you can see, the meat's kind of cooking away. There's a lot of liquid. We did. We only put a little orange juice inside, but the pork actually extracted a lot of liquid. We can check it with a skewer right now. Go inside. And the skewer does not come out easily. That means it's not cooked yet, all right? Once we poke it and the skewer goes in, in and out, it's actually done. So, I want to season the pork right now. I didn't want to season it in the beginning because otherwise the pork would cure and then it's more like cooking bacon instead of like a pork shoulder. So we're going to add the salt now and season it up. Just a little bit into the liquid, on the meat, all over. This needs a lot of salt, it's a lot of pork. Okay. Now we cover it. Three more hours and then we can eat. Okay, so it's been another three hours. We're gonna check on the pork. I have my little trusty wood skewer. Come a little closer. I'm gonna poke it and it goes in smoothly and smoothly out. Every single piece of the pork, it goes in and out super easily. We can remove it from the heat. So I'm just gonna switch it off. Another way to find out if your pork is cooked or not, you can remove the bone really easily. There we go. And the bone comes out super clean. There's no meat sticking to it, and that's really key. That's what I think is key. Okay. I actually want to reserve the, the skin because the skin has a lot of nice fat. Make sure there's no bone or anything involved here. Nice. It's nice and juicy, nice and tender. So now the pork is in this container. You don't need a knife or anything to shred it, just with a fork and a spoon. And you can see it breaks up real easy. I feel like Martha Stewart gay cooking show in the morning. I like to shred it while it's nice and warm. We're gonna reintroduce the cooking liquid and then we're actually gonna let it rest for a while. You can't eat this straight away. Look how much meat this is, bruh. I like the skin. I wanna shred everything up. We're gonna reintroduce a little bit of this liquid we're not gonna strain it. All this fat is flavor. That's why American food tastes so good. It's got a lot of fat. And one last mix. And we have our pork, pulled pork. That's it, you can leave it as chunky or as fine as you want to. I like mine a little chunky. Somehow it retains more juice. And we can start eating it. Just a little season of salt. Just a little salt at the end. And the rest is completely up to you. You can add a sauce into here, you can add a rub. 
I like mine very plain and simple if I eat it for tacos. Cheers, guys. It's tender as hell. Mm.